And this morning, we just want to give God the glory. We want to thank Him. Praise God. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to part two of Reinforced Steel Beams. It's early now, and we are waiting for the rest of the world to wake up. I have all of my tools them ready to dig off. This is as far as my reach last week. This ilt is not as powerful as the bigger ones and the concrete is really solid. So I have to take my time and chip off piece by piece come right back. Use a concrete cutter and just mark the line. So I'm gonna dig past that. Same thing right here, and the same thing I got to over here. So, so that's the plan for this morning. So what I'm doing to mark the front here is just I'm just pushing it underneath. Put my finger at the front, and it back, and then bring it back on top, and transfer the measurements. And do that go straight down the line. And then get a straight edge, mark a line, and we're good. So ilty sound like ilty and also sound like it do it time. You listen to it guys. Yeah it sound like when engine and start up and can start. So it now lick as efficient as it should. So me I get a break. So the other ilt in our work and I get to borrow the Milwaukee 5546-21 Yep, this is a sweet baby To all of the anti-shocks So the, when all of this are vibrate, you also go in and come out The speed gauge Yeah, we go through that later. Bye bye, Manuel. Let's work this baby.
25 minutes for cut off all of that we see behind me. Yeah, I want to give thanks to Fun Family for lending me this ilty. Good choice. So, let's take this opportunity to thank our supporters. And we and Grant get him wheelchair fixed now. Thank everybody who participated, everybody who supported Wayne Grant. Positioning this steel cage was not an easy task. I can remember as a kid one of the things I used to do to overcome obstacles that seemed impossible was to call for the power of 10 tigers and it still works up to this day. This corner now, we just need to chip out a little bit there and bring it down to the level. And then finish cutting that side. Coming. So that's so much much different from last night. Yes, Miss Brown.
So I bring down this now about an inch and a half or so to line up that about an inch and a half to the line. This thing all the way, and it's supposed to shape down easily. Oh, it's a cost problem. So, we can remove the line now and just bring it down about half inch. Because this is supposed to be under the line. I'm going to work with our gloves and I do them right now. I have the gloves. I can, one of the things that I may have to use while working, and my senses that I may have to use while working, is touch. I have to feel the thing, I have to feel the texture, I have to feel how close it is from whatever. The gloves, I may lose that sense. So I feel like I work blind when I have arm gloves. So it's just quicker, easier, feel the thickness, feel everything. When you have arm gloves, you don't even know if you hold the thing or not. So, so one of the reasons why I don't really wear gloves all the time. I recommend that you wear gloves with this ilty. It's heavy, it vibrates and it rub your skin. So, I always wear gloves when working because some people work really fast. Me, I have a lot of patience and I work slow. Right now, the sun is hot, I'm going to probably stop or I'm going to probably go. So, that's the best thing about doing it yourself. You choose the time when you want to work, the most suitable time when you want to work. So, just I'll go and tie up them steelers slowly, but surely. Do this just to hold it together, hold it plumb. So just draw it up to it. And these, I wanted to put these on the inside, but to get it over all of them, you go down the line, get it over the steel cages and left and mid line down there, sir. Very difficult, so we just decide to just tie it and probably just hook this over or something but tying this beam back into the building the existing building
You look dark. Why you look dark? You look dark like I'm only seeing a silhouette. No, I'm not seeing your face. I did your blackouts. I can't see your eyes. I'm just seeing your head. Why? You want to look? Not dark. I can't see your eyes. You saw the screen dark. But the video is still dark. You said the video is not dark. I screen. So I have to talk like that. Yeah, I have to talk like that. Mamma mia. I'm glad I'm at a safe enough distance because somebody wants to send me to the hospital. The hospital. It's a pain. And why? I don't know. So babe, the pipe where you cut off. What was that for? What purpose did that serve? That was for the rainwater. Use the fumes come up. So now I'm gonna be smelling everything. You want to smell everything? No, but you cut the pipe. Just this is the this is the hard part, right? Yeah, this is the hard part. Hard part. Hard part. Because that end is longer. Yeah. You need somebody at the other end pushing it down. There you go. Now we need to push that past that. Yes, you do. But you need to go in the middle like and just one big shove. You can't push it from there, so babe. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that so I'm pushing it. With the assistance of your soup. With the assistance of your supervisor. My supervisor. Yes. I have to supervise the work to make sure it's done correct. So I'm gonna draw this now that I go drop down. I'm hoping I miss and drop So I don't draw it from in the middle so you have more leverage. Yeah. I don't draw it from in the middle. That's how to draw it from in the middle. Yes, like that. See? What would you do without me? What would you do without me? Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha See, I told you. Bingo!
feel so proud of myself. Guys, remember, if you're new, please subscribe, like, share the video for anybody else who are trying to build a house by themselves and need information. You just might share it to a friend where you just decide to start building a house and might try to get some information and can't get none. So thank you guys for watching.